All right, hello everyone, my name is Joel, welcome back to the channel, and today I'll be counting down my top 10 favorite Lego modular buildings. Right, so in the number 10 slot, we have the corner garage. This one I really love, like, it's just a really nice looking modular. I absolutely love the sort of truck it's got, and it has, like, a half sort of, like, playability sort of function where you can, sort of, like, lift the vehicle. Then the overall building I really love, it is a corner building, although I do feel like there's a little bit too much of that sort of orangey color at the top. I wish I could like turn that down a little bit. Maybe like try mixing it up with like some of the color or something like that. But the angle this sort of building is at is really nice as well. I absolutely love that. See on the ground floor, it seems to be just the sort of like garage part of the set. On the second floor, there's the vets. And then on the third floor, there is like a sort of like little apartment. And also I like the fact that we are getting like a toilet just sort of, like in the corner. But yeah, this is a really nice modular and I really do like it. But I don't feel like this is the best modular. So that's why it's got number 10 on this list. All right, in the number nine spot, we have assembly square. Now this one, I absolutely love this modular, like just the sort of waterfall like in the middle and then like the sort of buildings are like going around it sort of, like that's just really nice in my opinion. Obviously it was made to celebrate I believe 10 years or 15 years of like modulars, I think it is 10 though. And yeah, overall I absolutely love this set, I, this was like the second modular I think I ever bought and yeah, I am in love with this set. So on the ground floor we have a little sort of cafe, and then on the other side to that we have a, a bakery and also like a sort of flower shop. On the second floor we have a music shop, uh, a sort of like photographer uh, studio and also the dentist which is nice. On the third floor we have like a ballet dancing sort of class I guess, and also an apartment which is really nice in my opinion. And my sort of favourite part about this is going to have to go to the sort of cafe on the left like it just gives me sort of like costa or like sort of british like cafe vibes if you know what i mean it's also a little alleyway which is nice and also there is a lot of references in the set to like all the modular buildings such as the sign on the cafe is actually a reference to the corner cafe which was one of the first modulars to be released but yeah overall i absolutely love this module with like all the colors and just like there's a lot of minifigures as well which really sort of like populates the area i'm putting this one in the number nine spot Alright, coming in at number 8, we have the detective's office. Now, this one is like Hall of Fame in terms of modulars. Like, I absolutely love this one. Like, it's got a really nice sort of like story behind it where they're like sort of trying to like smuggle candy, I believe, into the sort of like pool area. You do it like from the sort of behind of the barber shop and then it goes into like a little sort of, like tunnel where the steps are in the middle. The overall, like, it's just a really nice sort of story behind it. And just like the pool club as well, I absolutely love the sort of build for the pool table. But the barbers, I absolutely love how they've done the sort of writing using sort of like a brick built sideways building technique. And also the sort of like red, white and blue cone that I really like. And also in the detective's office, I believe like there is a little sort of like hidden secret behind one of the paintings, which is really nice. And also the sort of barrel at the top, so I, I believe it's to hold water. That's a really nice build as well. But yeah, on the front, I like the sort of like patio detailing and, and the build for the sort of like place scan newspapers is really nice in my opinion. And also I like the sort of fan build using the sort of, I believe they're like ski type pieces, I'm not quite sure what they're called, but it's a really nice build there and also the dartboard print is really nice. But yeah, overall, this is an absolutely gorgeous modular building, and like, I'm in love with this one. And yeah, I am going to give this one number 8 on this list, because in my opinion, there are nicer modulars coming up. Alright, in 7th place, we have the Downtown Diner. And this one was actually the first modular I ever sort of bought, and this one is just absolutely gorgeous, and I love everything about this. Like, the way that I've done those, like, windows on the front, like, it feels so iconic and classy, it's just really nice. And also the brick-built lettering for Diner, that's really nice as well. I absolutely I absolutely love how there's like steps on the side and, and there's sort of like white sort of like curve so like going like across the sort of second floor using the sideways building technique that's really nice. On the interior I absolutely love the jukebox build and also the seating uh, for the diner if it turned out so like classy in my opinion and I absolutely love that. On top of that the checker floor is really nice and the way they've done the bar as well I absolutely love that. On the second floor, I absolutely love the boxing ring and that sort of like area. But the one thing that really stood out to me is the way I've done the stairs. That technique is so cool and I absolutely love how they did that. On the third floor, we have like a music studio, which I love the technique they've done for the booth, where it's like those sort of like rigid type pieces. That turned out absolutely great. But yeah, this is like an absolutely still like perfect modular and how they've done this is just absolutely great in my opinion. And yeah, definitely deserves a seventh place. 
Alright, coming in sixth place, we have the Brick Bank, and this one, like, this is like on my to like pop on like modulars I want to buy one day. Like, this set is just absolutely phenomenal, and I absolutely love everything about this. Like, especially with the story it has going on, where it's like the sort of robbers they go through like they go through like one of the sort of washing machines in the sort of like the laundrette and then they can pretty much sneak their way into the vault and like steal all the money i absolutely love that about this set and like it's just like a really nice story going on in my opinion so yeah on the ground floor we have a really nice sort of ladder outside for the guy to sort of like fix the clock on the corner the texturing on the outside as well using the ingot pieces that is phenomenal in my opinion and also the technique they used to sort of do the sign for the soaps and studs i believe that sort of building is called i absolutely love how they've done that with the minifigure legs and also the sort of brick built washing machine in the interior i love how they've done the sort of vault and i believe it does work as well which is really nice on the second floor we have got like a balcony which i like seeing that because like it's just something we don't really see too often with modulars and it's also like an office and then like a sort of coffee machine on the roof i love how they've done I, oh, I forgot what they're called but it's like how they've done this like windows on the roof like it's just sort of like let light in and yeah that technique i absolutely love and also like there's one of the robbers so like going down that there's sort of like chimney i believe it's called uh just like get access to the vault which is really nice so yeah it's a really nice modular and yeah for that i'm gonna give it sixth place all right in fifth place we have the police station modular and this one like the build for this just felt very solid in my opinion that like it just felt nice like i really enjoyed the sort of build experience for this and also it's really nice how they got the sort of like tunnel like sort of going like underneath the sort of like green-ish type building I think that's pretty fun how it's still like starting to like come out on the sort of like back end of the set. Yeah, the donut shop is really fun how it's sort of like got the bears and then there's like a hole in the like underneath the bed so it's like the burglar so like can sort of go in the shop and like steal donuts at night. And also I love the sort of technique they did for the stairs on the sort of like first floor like that turned out absolutely great in my opinion. On the second floor I absolutely love the board how they sort of used the like red rubber band piece I think that turned out absolutely great and also the sort of place they take mug shots which is quite nice. On the third floor I absolutely love the sort of like billboard to sort of promote studs and soaps which is actually the sort of building in the brick band modular. And also has the sort of clues uh, room which is quite nice and yeah overall like it's just a really nice modular. Like it's really sort of colourful as well but not in like a crazy way. Like they break up the colour really nice with the so like the green foliage pieces the sort of purple and green on either side uh, also the new stand place that's really nice as well i quite like that and it has like a very sort of like complete story around the set and yeah and yeah for that i'll have to give this one fifth place all right in fourth place here we have the booty hotel and this one i really enjoyed the build for like it was just like a really nice and sort of like pleasant experience i guess but yeah, I really like the sort of like ground floor with the, all like the sort of detailing using the tiles and also like the bushes on the outside. That looks quite nice in my opinion. One thing I really like about this set is definitely like the sort of staircase on the side. I think that turned out really nice. And also the art gallery, like it's very small, but it's like really sort of compact and like... I know it's just a really nice sort of, like addition to the set and i also love the build for the sofa in the main lobby i think that turned out really nice on the second floor we have a bit of sort of like a balcony with some palm trees which is really nice and then of course we got the first two hotel rooms uh we got one sort of, like slightly larger hotel room and then one smaller hotel room which both of them turned out quite nice in my opinion then on the third floor we have the sort of like sand green color on the outside and that is all just one room it's like a sort of penthouse i guess yeah some of, like the sort of smaller builds in these rooms they just turned out really nice such as like some of the beds tvs uh armchairs like a lot of like the smaller builds i just really love also the little reference the ideas typewriter is quite nice yeah, overall, this is an absolutely gorgeous modular and, yeah, definitely deserving of the number four spot. Alright, in third place, we have the Palace Cinema, and this one, like, just the exterior of this, like, is just absolutely phenomenal, and I absolutely love the look of this. Like, I also really like the limo as well, that is quite nice. But yeah, like, this just feels so goddamn iconic, and yeah, I absolutely love this modular. I remember actually being in the Lego shop and just begging my parents for it, and they just, like, wouldn't budge. <laughs> um this one like it's just gorgeous uh, the brick built doors on the front is quite nice and mainly like the posters on the side those are just like absolutely great in my opinion and also like the brick built lettering that says uh palace like that's really nice 
And like, yeah, for its time, like, this just turned out absolutely incredible. Now, one small thing I don't like about this is like the sort of like back of the roof, like how sort of open and bare it feels. But yeah, with the interior, I like the use of the red base plate to like represent like red flooring. And also the roof technique is quite nice with the sort of cylinder pieces and the sort of plates. The interior for the time is nice, I guess. I wish it could have been like sort of tiled off. But I mean, like, it doesn't look the best on the interior, but like the exterior, I really love. Uh, the actual theatre itself, I feel like if they was to recreate this, they could do way better. But I feel like for the time, it was pretty good. I like the sort of like black and white sort of choice for the movie. Also, the way they did the curtains is quite nice. And then the seats are pretty standard as well. But yeah, like the interior I get is not the nicest, but the exterior for this is just so nice. And yeah, for that, I'm going to give it the third place. All right, in second place, we have the Jazz Club. Now, this is a bit of like a newer modular. I haven't bought this one yet, but this one is just absolutely gorgeous. Like the amount of like poppies or like colors on this, I absolutely love, especially with the sort of like bright yellow, then the sort of like dark red, and then also like the sort of blue at the bottom. Like the colors on this turned out absolutely great. And overall, like the amount of detailing and sort of texturing on the sort of like main building itself is just absolutely great in my opinion. I absolutely love the way how they did those like coloured windows, that is really nice. And also the technique for the Jazz Club sign with the using the sort of like hot dog pieces, that's really nice. I absolutely love how they've done the sort of corner stage. I think that turned out absolutely great. So like those sort of seats as well is quite nice. And with like those sort of lights and yeah, overall like, I think that turned out absolutely incredible. And also I believe there is a toilet as well. So that's great. Massive dub for Lego for that. The pizzeria I really love with those sort of like uh, sort of chimney and like the sort of stone baked oven I believe that's called. And yeah, I really love that. On the second floor we have like a balcony type area with like a little sort of office and also a nice build for a record player which I absolutely love. Across from there we have, I believe it's like a tailor or like a place like that where they pretty much make like outfits for the performers. On the third floor we have a sort of greenhouse above the sort of like pizzeria where they sort of like grow food which is really nice. I love the sort of building technique for that. And then we also have like a place for the sort of like performers to like get ready and like put on their makeup and like practice and stuff like that. Yeah, overall, this is an absolutely go with modular building, in my opinion. Like, the colours just pop, the actual building is really nice. And yeah, overall, like, I'm a massive fan of this one. And yeah, definitely deserves the number two spot. Alright, and now it's time for the number one place. Drum roll, please. It's the bookshop. <laughs> Now, I know this, like, went to, like, under the radar slash is a bit, like, underrated, but this one is, like, my all-time sort of favourite modular building. Like, the colours on this just, like, pop and, like, really screams, like, autumn-type vibes to me. And, like, I just absolutely love this one. Like, the tree outside, I love the sort of colours on that. And, like, overall, like, I like the story as well. Where the sort of boy girl is, like, toy plane uh, stuck in the tree. And then, like, the sort of bookshop owner or, like, the dad is, like, getting his ladder and then, like, trying to retrieve it. And also a bit of, like, a love story going on between, like, the bookshop owner and also one of the sort of residents of the house. And, yeah, overall, like, it just feels like a very nice modular building. I remember actually uh, going to the leg shop and like wanting to buy this and I just sort of like bought it using like all my Christmas money. Like that sort of day out, like I'll remember that for like a long time because like it was just a really nice sort of day. Just like going like on the train to Cardiff, going to the leg shop, buying this, going out for food and then just like coming home and just building it all night. Like, I just really enjoyed that day, so that is probably why it is number one. Yeah, on the interior for the house, we have, like, a sort of, like, basement type area, or, like, a place to, like, store stuff with, like, a, the sort of, like, ladder. On the ground floor for the bookshop, we have the tree on the exterior, and overall, like, the architecture for this is just really nice. Uh, we also have, like, a place of, sort of, like, books on the outside, and then on the interior, we have, like, a, like, a little sort of desk, and then also, like, two, sort of, like, bookshelves. On top of that, there is like the sort of like spiral staircases, which is really nice. Uh, on the second floor of the house, we have like an apartment, which I absolutely love the way they did the windows, how it's sort of, like rounded off. And overall, like just like the apartment, I just love it. Like it's just really nice in my opinion. And then for the bookshop, we have like a little sort of lounge for people to like read the books so, or like in peace. Then on the third floor, I absolutely love how they did the roof for like both the house and also the bookshop. I think those two sort of roofs, like they're just really nice. For the interior of the house, we got a really nice bed, which I love how they did the sort of frame for the bed and also like a cabinet. 
And then for the bookshop, we have a comedian in the sort of tank, which is really nice, matching the colour of the bed. And I really like this, like, uh, turquoise colour. And on top of that, for the house, there is, like, a bit of a balcony area, which is quite nice. But yeah, overall, I absolutely love this modular. Like, just the colours really pop to me, and I really just remember the day, like, actually sort of buying this and building it. Like, and yeah, for me, this, like, a good, like, a modular building definitely deserves first place in my opinion but yeah of course this is all just sort of my opinion i want to know your top 10 favorite modulars in the comments below uh thanks so much for watching appreciate it. like subscribe to all that stuff and goodbye